today, Big Daddy and I are going to explore some more of the local life, and we're going to take you along with us. And we're just getting ready to go, and uh, I just got to walk the dogs, and we'll see you on the road. Alrighty then. Our first stop was the Paddle Wheel Restaurant for breakfast, and oh my goodness. Alright, that's Bubbles. Here goes Big Daddy. Oh wait, there's more. Yeah. Cheers, honey. Cheers. We'll definitely be back here for another breakfast, or even lunch or dinner. They do it all, and it was fantastic. And we're on the Lincoln Highway. Again. Again, yeah. Because the sign over here that tells us that. We lived on the Lincoln Highway back in 2018, and that was by the Flight 93 Memorial. So we're familiar with the road, but now we're seeing another part of it. The Museum of Ceramic has 19th and 20th century area pottery, historical objects and photos, as well as art. The building's on the National Register of Historic Places, and it once was the city's post office, and that opened June 15, 1909. The museum has 5,000 square feet, two floors, and exhibits, including full-size dioramas of jigger shop, kiln, decorating shop, and sales room. There was a lot to see, and I hope you enjoy looking around with us. We started in the 1800s. These, for instance, were made in 1850. And actually, East Liverpool, which is where this museum is, has been known to be the pottery capital of the United States. So that's why we went here. We wanted to find out why. There is a, um, like a movie you can watch. It's very educational. And then just looking through all the different pottery, it's beautiful. And here they've got mannequins and showing you the different steps to the pottery. Right here they're doing the decorating. Let me see if I can get this right. Prior to placing, which is what they called the process of putting everything in the kiln, they put them in these what they call saggers. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that helps the pottery from getting broken. And this is a shop where they've taken everything out and they're getting everything boxed up for the store. Now here's some funny history. Homer Laughlin and his brother Shakespeare Moore Laughlin were the original founders of the Homer Laughlin China Company. You'll see the symbol above our heads there. I have the arrow pointing to it. They socked it to the British in a revolutionary way, using the back stamp of the English lion on its back and the American eagle attacking it, which catapulted them into being the largest company in the country producing crockery. And I'm English and I can still love the history. And here's a picture of the Burford's Pottery employees, East Liverpool, and that was in 1896. Yep, this pottery goes back a long time. And now we're going to go through some of the more recent pieces of work from the different area China shops. 
And then we're going to head upstairs and look through what they have for sale so we can get our own piece of history. And here's a replica of what would have been a sales room of the time. Big Daddy relaxed on Washington's bench with a little bit of history. And this is what I picked. It was a Daytona pattern from the Sterling China Company out of East Liverpool. It's a traditional cup and saucer with, of course, a pink flower arrangement. Well, we are back from the Museum of Ceramics, which was a whole lot of fun, and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Got some postcards, which we're going to be mailing out, and we go different places. If they have magnets, we get them. So I got this one to go on my magnet board. I hope y'all can see it, because the door is open. There we go. This is just a sheet of metal. I can put some rope around it, some frame it. And we shall put this one right here. Still got some more room. That's it for today's video. And we'll see you next time on Exploring the Local Life. Bye. Well, thank you for watching today. If you've made it to the end of this video, please leave us a teacup emoji so that we know you did. Give us a thumbs up and we shall see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.